What's good, everybody? It's Friday Night Smoke Session, the ride along. This your girl, Info 40 Hero in the building, Powerhouse Studios, Rough Rider Radio, The Pit. We got a special guest tonight. Badass Kima is in the building right here in The Pit. Welcome. Welcome to the ride along. Glad to have you. Straight out of Miami, right? Come on. Oh, shit. Oh, right. You just got up here from Miami? Nah, I've been since what? She just got here this week. Um, not the first fine. time in New York, is it? Like my third time here. Oh, okay, okay. Are you liking that each time you come? Or is it? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm messing with the vibes. It kind of gives me a Miami fight. You know, it's fast paced. So, you it know, gives you Miami vibes? It don't give me Miami fight. It gives that fast pace because you don't mind me fast. Like well, I've never been to Miami. I've only well, been, 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 been I love Miami. I love Miami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I definitely plan on going. Okay. That's fire. <laughs> That's the first time I ever heard that. That somebody was like, oh, you know, Miami or Miami. Because, you know, usually, like, to be honest with you, we don't think too much about this shit anymore. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? We think a lot about Miami. So, uh -huh. it's like, to hear that, it's just like, really? Like, but, you know, we put it like, so it's fast paced. So, I definitely get it. You know? Now, is that where you were born and raised, Miami? Yeah, born and raised in Miami. Little Haiti? Yeah, that's my little Haitian? Are you Haitian? Haitian? Yeah. Now, I know, like, the vibe in Miami is, you know, it's Haitian, it's Cuban, <laughs> it's, you know, every nationality. Now, I know, like, Kodak Black, is that, you know, one of the artists on your radar, people that have influenced you in Miami, coming out of Miami? Oh, coming out of Miami? Yeah. Uh, you know... Influence, you know, I felt so cool that you know he's from Broward, he ain't even from Miami. That's Broward, you know, he's from Broward County, yeah. Then we got Miami, then we got Broward, they don't be for about that. You ain't got it correct. Okay, I'm yeah. sorry, let me get it right. My yeah, bad, you know, my bad. Got Miami, <laughs> then we got Broward County, he from up there in Broward, a lot of dead deer fields. Like, I'm from Miami, okay. Good yeah, I forgot about that. Last yeah, time know, I was there, they're like, you gotta make sure specific. Miami, okay. okay, now Broward County, is that like near Fort Lauderdale? Yes, yeah, that's okay. like Broward, that's Broward, that's up that way. Okay. So what was, what was it like, like ultimately, like growing up in Miami? Like, if you could give us like a short, like experience of it. Growing up in Miami, like I said, fast pace. You know, always hot. Right. You feel me? It's winter time, but we getting heat. Uh, you know, beaches, a lot of beaches. You know, South Beach. Mm -hmm. You know the vibes. Um, that's it. It's just lit. You know, it's the magazine. It's always open. Don't close. Open everything open. You feel me? Nothing closed. It's just like the magic season ain't never closed. Everything. Basically. When would it? It's just so it's party season. Yeah, yeah, basically. yeah. So it being such a party city, is that like how you got into like being into music? Like do you feel like it's bound to happen? If it's a party city, do you feel like it's bound to happen for a lot of people to get into music down there? Well, I don't know if it's bound for them I just know a lot of people like to party, but um Maybe. You know, me, you know, I was partying a lot, so a lot of my stuff, like, party vibes, let's turn mm -hmm. up, let's get the vibe going. So maybe it could be, but they, I just feel like I'm in my own lane. I'm talking about turning up. I, that's what I'm just talking about shit. You feel me? So how long you been in the music? I've been doing it for five years. Five years? Five years in the game, babe, since Hurricane Irma, September 11th. Yeah. So what was it like? Like, did you, because, like, a lot of people, like, they would say, oh, you know, I've been in music since I was like seven, eight years old, whatever the case may be. Well, I've been around music. I right. can't say a lot about that. My mama then was in a music group. My uncle then got a big DJ thing down in Miami, G-Force DJs. I always was around music. You feel me? I tried to sing a thing what my mama them did, but I felt like it wasn't my lane. So, you know, I just was just around it. Um, I picked it up, like I could say five years ago, like when I started remaking people like stuff, like tracks I hear on the radio, I'll change a few words in it. And then I had people, instead of singing it the original way, they singing it my way and stuff like that. And then that's when Hurricane Irma came across and I just had a lot of time on my hand. People found out, oh, you just change people's song, you don't know how to rap. I said, okay. I jumped in my rip and I wrote me a track called Changed Up, because I did. Real quick, because I kind of want to double back on your own mom being in a band thing. Did you kind of like, was you like a fan of her music or did you yes, didn't understand that at the time? Forever, just you and me. I know so. <laughs> <laughs> I was right there. Like, Come on now. <laughs> See now, now I feel like it's bound. She was giving it all too. Yeah, I was watching. Just you and me, okay? Oh, 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 oh! I 
I don't even know who you when your mom is, but it definitely tell her rubs off. That performance, natural performance, yeah. yeah. But at that time, you specifically wasn't thinking about. You said you tried to get into it. Yeah, yeah I tried singing stuff. You know, my mom was a music group, so I tried to come sing that. Like, and I felt like I just wanted to do the singer. I was like, I want to be a singer. And then I started singing, she like, you know, hey, you know, it's a fine son. And then that's like I said, the rapping thing just fell on my lap because I didn't even think I could do it. I thought, I said I couldn't do it. That's why I started singing. I'm looking at Foxy, the little kid. I'm like, shit, boy, that one hard. Let me go try to sing. And then it wasn't for me. And then the rapper thing just came across my, it just fell in my lap. And when that thing fell, just. Did you think about ever adding the two, like rap and sing? Oh, yeah, I got like, some tracks. I go hear that. Okay, bad. I'm, I'm mixing All right. that in there. Because you can hold the, hold the tone. Yeah, don't Might as well go. throw it in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so in, in between time, like hobby wise, like was there anything else that you was into before? You I got was into music? I asked. Really? On the way put down. Series. Not to say it like that, but yeah, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. to say. What's, What's it called? The name it's called the Web Put Down series on YouTube. The web, web Put Down. The, the Web Put Down series. The Web Put Down. The Web Put Down series. Got it. Not because it sound like I heard it. Like because I'm always I don't watch movies that come out. I watch a lot of movies. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, I don't know what that is. 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 I'm on first and second. My name is Tara. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, that's me. Tara. Got it. Wait, why would you skip over the acting thing? I'm I'm way more interested in that than the music, to be honest with you. I swear to God. That's why I started off at, because I was trying to figure my niche. Like, I was acting. I done did acting schools. I done did the acting thing. I done did that. Then you know, I was feeling it. And then, you know, I just... Okay, so how, how, how exactly did you, because finding your niche, it could have been a million things. How was it that you got into acting? Like, it wasn't like anything else. Like, it could have been like graphic design or some shit. No, I, I got into that because I was just always just animated and act. I don't know, my people just felt like I, I just was too much. Mm -hmm. So they were like, yeah, you don't want to act. They, they had some acting auditions. I said, let's go try. And I went there, and then the school picked me, and I was like, damn, okay. And I just started doing acting class. I was acting and shit. And it was filling me, and I liked it. So. But why not, do, why not be the triple threat? Why not do it all? I could why give up. up one and be no, like, oh, I'll just do it over no, here? I didn't give it up. It's okay. just that at the you time, just I was back doing on my acting thing. Okay. And then the rap came into my lap. Right. I was going full throttle with the rap, because I thought I couldn't do it. And then people, I just felt like, I found a gift. You know when you find a gift? When you're trying to figure out your life, and right. then something fell in your lap, you're like, damn. I'm like good as shit at this shit. Right. Why not perfect this shit? Yo, I just took off with that. After shit, I, I could act now. I still act, but you know, the, the rapping just, I just felt more with it. And then, you know, it gave me more of a bond with me and my mom because she was in the music band. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it just was more. And then my uncle making beats and stuff. So it just like more, what's the name? Young could still make beats today. Still making beats, and I got beats from all stuff. Yeah. I was about to say uh, that was a <laughs> yeah. dumb question, right? That was a stupid question. My bad. Hey, send me, right, um, yeah. send me them beats, huh? Um. <laughs> Did he put the beats on? Did you use some of his beats for your music? Yeah. Like what you got now? Well, what's on this one? I'm trying to think. That I sent you, I don't think that's on there. But you know, that's other music. See, I got a lot of music. Yeah. Other things for you know, the EP, LP, and whatever album just over there. Cause he got album ready new beats. You feel me? And this right now, I'm getting my niche of getting out there and letting people hear and giving them the vibes of me right now. That's more deeper for the BT room. Different. See, uh, we we gonna get into the rapping of you today, but I kind of like want to origin it and like mm -hmm. just a little bit more. Was there any other artists that you grew up on, like as a kid, like that you could remember? Yeah, Mary J. Okay. Queen Pen, Lil Kim. Um, Faith Evans, like I listen to Avant, like I'm back in the day because of my mom yeah. them, so it's like that's what I listen the to, that's what I still listen to yeah. now, so that's why with my music I'm able to get the content and give like a story and understand because that's what I listen to growing up, so that's why I'm giving back. Would you yeah. say that any one of them artists got that influence on you today? You know, I love me some Mary J. She still do, boy. Everything. That's what I'm saying, boy. <laughs> Mary J. Uh-uh. Is <laughs> she doing the Mary J? Yes, <laughs> Uh -oh. <laughs> so okay, the 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 rapping <clears throat> now you was pretty much because I heard you say that somebody told you that you can't do it and you just no to I it. told myself oh, you told yourself my bad that's yeah. why I be telling people all the time never say you can't unless you try right because I ain't never tried just kept on saying I can't but the day I tried everybody was like yo that's you yo put on that cool that be what yo you fired yo what 
And I didn't even know I could do it. I thought I couldn't do it. I said shit. So you started off freestyling on like beats that was out already? Yeah, or? like like um like other people beats. Like my first track I wrote was called Change Up. I did on Transport Beat. Well originally the Gettles Boy beat, but people think it's trans code that beat, but it's Gettle Boys beat. Uh, yeah, you yeah, feel yeah. me? So transport beat basically to make it for the generation now so we understand. So when you dropped that, that was your debut. You got Yo, a crazy I'm telling you, boy, I was in the car. I'm like, my auntie, what she like, man? Keep going. I'm like, nah, nah, well, let me break this bar down right quick. Mm-hmm. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I didn't think I could do it. So when I was so happy that I found out, I just, even while driving, I was writing that track. Mm-hmm. Stopping at the stop sign, writing it. Hold up. People honking. Mm-hmm. Hold up, I got to get this in. So how do you feel about, like, the female um, hip-hop artists that are out today, a lot of them is, you know, talking about, you know, how wet it is, how big it is, their their purse, you know, the the money they're getting from different niggas and this and that. Like, how do you feel, like, how is, I know your music is not on that level to an extent, but, like, how does that make you feel as as a female artist? Like, do you feel like you have to go there? Because they're like ridiculing some of these female artists now saying like, why do you have to just be so vulgar, basically? Like, so how do you feel about that? No, oh, each is on. That's how they feel. That's what they want to express in their music. Music is an expression. That's how they feel. They want to express. That's what they was doing. That's how they feel. She, me, I like to party and I want to turn up. So that's what I'm going to bring to the table. I don't know. It's just, it's like, I'm not against it. That's just, you know, music is just a, it's, Expression. So that's just how they yeah. feel at the time. They feel like that's, yeah. you know, they, them dudes doing that. That's how they felt at the time when they was riding that track. That's what was going on. They, they, they was getting it. You feel me? Like at the time when I wrote the weekends, I was partying. I was going to work and I was like, shit, I want to go to the club. I want to go do this. I want to go to happy hour. You feel me? It's an expression. That's just how they yeah. feel. I guess at the time when they wrote the track, that's what they was each his own. Well, I personally think that they're harder on female artists than they are on male artists because the male artists can say kind of pretty much anything and then the females are like, they have to be put in a little corner and only rap about certain things, but then when they really come out, like you're saying, Little Kim, mm-hmm. you know, that type of, you know, because Little, I won't say it started with Little Kim, but she really put it out there, sexuality. Mm-hmm. And so do you feel like you have to rap about that though? Like to I be relevant? To. Well, I don't feel like, I don't feel like I have to, but you just say you gotta throw a little something there. I ain't gonna go hardcore, and then they ain't gonna just see hardcore. They gonna see a little, a little. You right, I'm throwing right. a little inch, but they ain't gonna be too vulgar with that. I'm like, I'm gonna put the on the floor, dropping on the floor, uh, <laughs> telling them some more. That's, yeah, that's a lot. Like, I ain't gonna be standing <laughs> all of that. Right. Oh wait, well, you know what? Throw that ass. I ain't gonna lie. When I wrote that track, I was a little upset at the time when I wrote that track, and y'all gonna hear that track. But it's still, <laughs> listen, it's a party fun track. Right. But I'm just saying, I was talking shit about these niggas. I'm fucked up. Mm. Sometimes you gotta make that. But see, I mean, that's that wrong with that. Throw that ass is really talking. It's, it's really talking shit and about take it back. Cause I was very upset at the time when I wrote that track. But it's a party track, though. Like, hey, nah, but it's good to have more that. than just that though Because that's what If you got party yeah, that's, that's music not, hey, You got some trap you shit mean, You got some You know you twerk said you shit. was upset wrong with that. And wrote a song called Throw That Ass And then it's mm-hmm. Is that the whole name of the title? It's called Throw It Throw It Everything's alright Kima put on a show. She gave us 10 minutes, 10 and a half minutes. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank Dancing you. and singing. You are a triple that for real. Hell yeah, wow. for sure. So, you got mad energy. Yeah, I got a question. Is um, Miami like a big performance city? Because like, uh, I feel like artists in New York 
Performance, they don't dance. Like, yeah, like that was a performance. Like, shoot, I can't say why because, shoot, someone like that. They really ain't. Shoot, if it, listen, I don't know how to explain it. I just can't believe it. I don't just don't know. It depends who you're coming to. Yeah, that's there's too. people, but okay, people okay. don't perform anymore. They just get on they the just stage get up there and, and they walk back and forth and they don't rap. Like, you to perform, do you sing, and you didn't lose your breath. Like you, you got your breath. Yeah, you got to control, figure out what's Shout going to Shout out to your control coach, your dance coach. I'm dancing and moving. Artist, 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 artist development, development. Yeah. Okay, everything She's doing her thing. One. Yeah, you, I could tell through your performance and your music, you definitely showed out that you kept saying like you party, you party, you like to party, you party. Um, I could definitely see that for sure. Like, you know, like I was saying, you got mad energy. Party. Yeah, you made it halfway through and then took off the jacket. Uh -huh. <laughs> you see, off the jacket. Yeah, because one was also the weekend. What was what's going on the weekend? I don't know. Yeah, that weekend. That weekend trip. Well, I know yeah. we about to get out of here. This is, <laughs> that's what Fatboy wanted. City girl. Yeah, he on that track. Uh, and then Jaquay is on the. Finishing that track today. Like, so, to be today. How did you start branching out to these people to like get on these songs and these features and stuff? Well, like well, Ram for the weekend was through my producer Jay Smooth. Shout out to Jay Smooth. Uh, Jacque was through Instagram, you know. Just that, right? Yeah, right then I was hit and I'm like, yo, he was like, oh, he just supported upcoming artists to repost their stuff. And then I sent my track and he was like, damn, you sound fire. I'm like, yeah, oh, that's work. <laughs> I'm like, I'm trying to do something. You know, a lot of people me? don't gave think it that's real. Like, you feel me? Like, 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 upcoming artists, artists, cause he was fucking with the music. You see that I, I just wasn't, I wasn't playing with my craft. He was messing with people that were serious about my craft. Yeah. And he see I wasn't playing, so he best me with the channel. I'm to jump on the channel. Power of social media, huh? You feel me? Oh, you know, I noticed that big artists, put, you know, big name artists put that out there that they're really looking for artists. A lot of people, you know, don't believe that that's real. <coughs> and to find out, like, you know, you did it, like, you actually put yourself out there and you, you know, liked what he saw and, you know, picked it up and worked with you. So, you know, people that are on social media, like, that stuff really is true. Yeah, Some people think it's fake because I know Jada Kiss did, did it, a couple artists did it, and nobody, you know, they got a few responses. They think it's it's you know it's fake. That's dope though. Yes or no? Who else yeah, do you want to work right. with? Like who else do you want to work with? Well, people I want to work with, you know, I want to work with my auntie Mary. Uh, you know, I post with them, Lizzo. You know, I'm going more in pop rap. I'm over there trying to branch out internationally. Yeah. You feel me? I'm trying to do, do, do Beyonce, them, Post Malone. I'm trying to go international. I'm trying to be on them stages. <laughs> so do you see yourself like you, you like you say you you never stop acting, but you're trying to get yourself more like set in music right now, which is a dope thing because like I said, like that performance is crazy. But do you see yourself like trying to take a step further in acting as well, or you just like whatever happens with that happens with that? Yeah, I can see myself going back to acting. I ain't never, I, I ain't never downplayed. You know, I was acting. But then just the music just came. I know it. It's just when you you keep saying that what, what does that mean i want to know what, is, what does that mean to you like mm -hmm. the, it just came to you like what like right, because i kept on telling myself i couldn't do it yeah like, i ain't even trying i was telling myself i couldn't do it right and then when i finally tried and then i was getting great confidence like damn you sound yo this your first time rapping you lying you sound like you've been i'm like no it's literally my first time rapping. so it was like a gravitation it was just like a gravitation like i'm like shit all right let me keep going. Okay, let me write this track, next track, that track. Everybody like, oh, it's fire. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. Mm -hmm. It's like you finding you good at something. You won't stop doing it. You find out you're good at it. No, and that shit can make you some money. Yeah, hell no. yeah. You feel me? You can be blessed with people with content and music. They're just gonna be loving you because you just blessing them with just great things. Like, I'm just saying, I don't know. Shit, I think to do the same thing too. I ain't never downside. It's just that the rapper just, it came and it just was just going once I started. So what's next for you? Like, what, what do you have coming up? What's well, going on? The, I got finished, like I said, I got finished on the truck with Jack Quay, hopefully waiting on them edits. I could drop that thing for y'all before Christmas. Okay. I got other visuals and stuff that I'm working on, roll call, waiting on the edit for that. I got a bunch of music and stuff. You know, I got EP, ready, LP, and album. And right now I'm just dropping like singles, you know, just to get everybody let them know who Kima is and how I'm coming through here. Right. You feel me? Yeah. I just said that. How big are you on uh, music videos? Like, not like making them, but like, Dropping them, actually putting them in the process. Like, are you like one of those artists that's just always dropping music, or you try to drop a video with each song? Yeah, I, I try to drop a video with each song. For some reason, 
like the weekend well I, you know the weekend's the same way as now I dropped that and then like I did the video like a year ago when I dropped that and then you know I feel like you know it's not three days good so I try to do my best at least three months three months at least get them something let it work let us you know drop the track let's see what it do see if it's that the one put push and market behind it throw it on TikTok or trailer so see what it do and then I'm going to the next track you know whichever ones that bang is going to take off so it's like they got to hear the music and we keep it on store there are you on TikTok open? Yeah, I just got back on it. I ain't gonna lie, I just got back on it. I dropped like three TikTok last night. I was on that thing, just moving and shaking and cutting and cutting and flipping and swipping. You don't try to do none of the challenges, you just do your own thing? No, I just do my own thing and then I try to do it to my music. Oh, I be doing some of the chat, some of the funny stuff. Yeah, like, yeah. it gotta be funny. For me, it gotta make me crack and jiggle. Okay, for okay. me to do it, something like that. You feel me? For me to go put it out like that. But other than that, I be trying to put my music, I be doing some of my music. Nah, because I can for sure see one of your songs on TikTok because you know it's all about the hits and shit like that. Nah, because I can for sure see one of your songs on TikTok because you know it's all about the hits and shit like that. Yeah. Once you know how to do that and do that to one of your songs, mm -hmm. yeah. that shit go and go. That's like one of the biggest things out right now. Well, shout out where you can, everybody can find your music, your your Instagram, your streams, mm -hmm. everything. So tell us where everybody can find I'm at, well, I'm streaming on all platforms. Bad ass, Kima B A D A S S K E M A. <laughs> I'm gonna pop up, pop me up on YouTube. Y'all can follow me on Instagram, it's the same thing, badass Kima. Yo, whatever's the search engine, put in badass Kima, please, and I'm gonna pop up. Y'all gonna see me. Go. Yeah, that what if video. What is it called? What if I or something? Oh, what if I? Yeah, yeah. That, that video is fucking amazing. Right? You know, <laughs> like, I get content to that thing, too. That yeah. was my first time directing it. Shout out to um, Gold Rush. Okay. You don't see that coming from upcoming oh, artists. Damn. Everybody's on the block now and that shit is annoying. I'm trying to tell them. So to see that you did that and put a whole creative process in there, like that automatically puts you like completely separate from a lot of other cause I don't like like I said, it's just everybody on the block and in the Rolls voice if they can get one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I, I like that. And then that you video. know, sometimes it'd be real like different because you know, like, like I said, I got my manager, you know, my mom, you know, they all back and so now they bringing up ideas like from this time. Like, nah, we ain't doing it, girl, we gotta make it make sense. You talking about this, we're gonna do it like that. We're gonna do it like this. Like, my circle is just for good people. That's dope. And it, it's bringing me from people from that time, my time, and then we're just missing it together and we just bring something different. Honestly, how often do you listen to that though? Like people be like, yo, you should do this, that, and the fuck. Do you like always take heed to it? Do you just be like, yeah, all right, we could do that? Nah, oh, listen. I always take criticism. I always take feedback. Listen, if you got the idea, shit, and, and I'm feeling it, boy, we're going to create this bit together. Mm. I, I'm feeling that too. Yeah, so I want to add this right quick. Oh, yeah, yeah, come on. We can, we can make this. Like, come on, we're going to make magic. I ain't really beefing about it, ain't it? Before we get out of here, I want to ask you one more question. Mm -hmm. You ever heard about, uh, well, you know what the Mount Rush, Rushmore is, right? The four president heads? Mount yeah. Rushmore? Mm -hmm. All right. So if you had to make a Mount Rushmore, in your opinion, of just music in general, who's the four people you put up there? I put my, I put B on there, because she had to take. Okay. Everybody's going to be for the chance. Oh, Mary? That's what I thought. My bad. Mary, I, I didn't want to throw that out there. I thought that was going to be the first <laughs> one. I don't want to make up your list for Mary, you. Mary, 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 that's my auntie, man. Like, that's my auntie right there. You talking about Rushmore, that beautiful little girl stick. Shit, Mary going there, too. But I'm okay. just saying, that's my auntie. Like, she holds really close to me. I even think about that. Okay, okay. Be, uh, how many that is? I'm going to say, I, put, I throw Drake on there. You know, I fuss with Drake. You got one more. You can just throw it in the air now. Shit, you can say Biggie. I'm joking. Don't. I'll put Pac on that. You know, I love me some Pac. Oh, okay. Yes. And then I got Real Car Boy. They really like, boy, you giving me Pop vibes when I say, yeah, straight up. <laughs> yeah. That's my daddy shit. Why am I picking those rings too? But yeah, that's my daddy too. Pac, I'll throw Pac on that. Okay, okay. That shit, Pac, on that. That's a solid four. That's a solid four. You like Glorilla? Grilla, I'm supposed to eat, uh, eat, 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 e
Wait, you talking about, you know I was feeling it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it was the hook. <laughs> right, because that's all I really hear about. I, hear, I never yeah, heard like the real the whole song, so I can't really say. I just heard the, like the hook part. That's the one that. Yeah, yeah, like, now I feel you. I feel you. So I can't really say like. Yeah. What about yeah, Big Lotto? Y'all yeah, folks a lot of. Right, snapping. You know, I used to watch that show. I seen the show when she was on there with, with the uh, with Jermaine 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 Jermaine. 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 Jerm
Rough Rider Studio, where legends are made right here in the studio with DMX, Diddy's Music, yes. Eve, The Locks, uh, in this room right yes. here. So can't nobody do it better than that. Okay. It's the Ride Along. Yes. Yes. You better kill it. Right, I'm working on that. Yeah. I'm working on that.